Hello yogis, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again today. I am Melanie, this is Bhavana Yoga, and today's yoga flow will be based on the theme of surrender. So if you'd like to join me in this mudra as you ground and start to invite the breath, go ahead and join your thumb with the ring finger and middle finger while sending the index and pinky forward. Start to lengthen and soften the breath as you focus on your hips, your legs, softening and grounding here. Lengthening the sides of the waist, drawing the shoulder blades together on the back. And before beginning to move, I'd like to read from the Tao, the verse 10 called Limitations. So this is the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. Verse 10, Limitations. When embracing the unity of mind, body, emotions, and spiritual being, can we transcend our fragmentations without leaving a trace? When Kijong sculpts sinew suppleness, can our flesh become soft as a newborn babe? Can we cleanse the inner vision, leaving mind in spiritual purity? Can our affairs of the heart and our affairs of state be so unconditional that we grant unqualified permissibility? Can the gate to yin be opened without inviting yang? Can our reasoning mind be purged of coercion, allowing our heart its unfettered joy? Can we act like every other species, seeking no reward, taking no pride, guiding without enslaving? Such is our vision of the great integrity on whose path we have last planted both feet, ready to move step by step until we arrive at the great unfettered gate. On an inhale, extend the arms, reaching through the fingertips, bringing them around and up, watching the palms as they touch, draw them down to your heart center, rounding through the hips, soften. Inhale, reach through the fingertips, lifting up out of your seat. Exhale, soften. Inhale, reaching the fingertips around and up, up the hands. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades together on your back. Hold here, bowing the chin gently. So our theme in today's class is surrender. Balancing effort with surrender, both in our yoga poses and in our lives. So contemplating that for a moment and adding in any other intention that you'd like to add to your practice for today. Taking some deep breaths, connecting to your breath, and softening your gaze or closing the eyes so you can turn your attention inward. And taking a moment to bring your attention to the space right between your eyes, but at the very top of your nose, so right here. And bowing to your higher self, surrendering to your higher self. Trusting your higher self to observe and integrate everything you need in this practice. We're going to take the fingertips to the front of the knees and start to round the spine, draw the chin to the chest, the belly to the spine, and the shoulder heads forward. Inhale, curl the tailbone back, reach the chest forward. Lift the chin. Exhale, round, bringing the elbows forward. Inhale, draw them back. Inhale, oh sorry, inhale, exhale. So follow your breath and see how fluid this motion can be for you. And inhaling back. 
back to your tall seat. From here, we're going to circle the torso. So you can press your chest forward, pressing the hips into the floor, and then round, tucking the tailbone, circling through the back. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And prepare to go the other way if you haven't started to already. I just feel less coordinated on this side, so release any need to perform a, a particular way or level. And return to your tall spine, finding some stillness for a moment. And we'll just bring your attention to our spine for a moment. Noticing your spine and noticing how they're connected to your hips. So notice your hips grounding into the earth. And as your hips ground and soften into the earth, imagine if you could just lift just the back of your shoulder blades gently and then draw them together and then pull the belly in so feeling those opposites and drawing the belly in and then stretching the chest forward let's soften there so using your effort to find the shape and then softening that effort about 40 percent and hold here We'll take right fingertips to the floor, inhale the left arm out to the left, reach through the fingertips, feeling the armpit, the shoulder, maybe moving, fluttering the fingers. And then inhale, reach it away, maybe flex the fingers down. And then bend the elbow, reach it back. Inhale, take the arm up and over. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, exhale. So I'm really firmly pressing into the ground with my right hand. And then relaxing this left shoulder a little more as we stretch it back. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, soften and hold here. Grounding the left sitting bone into the earth and reaching the left fingertips up and away. One long line of energy through the left side of the body. We'll open the chest toward the sky. Soften a little more. Inhale, open up. Exhale, soften. Reach it away. And on your next inhale, return to center. Tall spine. Deep inhale. Exhale completely. Left fingertips to the floor. Inhale the right arm out to the right. Activate through the fingertips. Really feel the elbow gently reaching back and stretching the bicep. Inhale. Maybe start to bend the elbow back. Get a sense of that shoulder blade coming off the back. And then up and over. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, cactus. Exhale, up and over. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach the elbow back. Exhale, up and over. And hold here. Opening the chest towards the sky and grounding the right sitting bone, reaching away from it. Inhale, exhale, soften, bend a little more deeply, and then inhale to return to your tall spine. From here, we're going to find our way down onto hands and knees. Let your child's pose, press the hips back, walk the hands forward. Soften the forehead to the floor, 
You can rock the hips side to side. Long deep breaths here. Staying connected to your breath. Continuing to lengthen and soften the breath as you move through your practice. If at any time it becomes rough or jagged, you can return to child's pose and reconnect and join us wherever we might be. On an inhale, press up to your tabletop. Take a moment to align and arrange your tabletop. Index finger and middle finger pointing towards the top of the mat and they're spread nice and wide. Plug the shoulders into the socket and activate every finger pad and knuckle. Noticing your knees under your hips, let's curl the tailbone up, reach the chest forward. Slight bend in the elbows, pull the palms towards you. Exhale, round. Draw the chin to the chest, belly to the spine. Inhale, curl tailbone. Exhale, round. So really moving fully into each Cow pose, engaging the hips, exhale, cat pose, become really narrow. Inhale, broaden the hips, the shoulders, exhale, round. Inhale, exhale, follow your breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, cow pose, hold here. And then notice your toes, tuck the toes, lift the knees, find downward facing dog. Pedaling out your down dog, sway the hips, press your chest towards your thighs. And imagine you had strings attached to your sitting bones, so they can't be anywhere but the highest point. Breathe, soften your shoulders, soften the heels towards the earth. Toes slightly closer together than the heels. Sway the hips here, lengthening the sides of the body. And we're going to kind of flow here. So bending the knees and sending the heels over to the left. Maybe come onto the right fingertips, stretch the right side of the body. You can bend the knees in any little organic movement that feels good here. Inhale back to center, keeping the knees bent high on the toes. Sway the heels over to the right. One to the left fingertips. And then if it feels good, send the sitting bones back, bend the knees. Just kind of playing with this, finding your favorite place to stretch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, soften the heels, the shoulders towards the floor. Inhale, round forward. Bring the shoulders over wrists. Keep bringing the shoulders forward, soften the hips down. Up dog. Engage the glutes, tuck the or round the spine. Send the hips up and back. Inhale, round forward. Keep the shoulders rolling forward of the fingertips. Drop the hips. Up dog. Inhale, send the sitting bone up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, round forward. Keep rolling forward till the shoulders come past. The fingertips drop the hips, gaze up, exhale, press it back. Soften the heels towards the floor, get a little stretch in the calves, maybe lift the toes for a moment. Inhale, roll forward, pass, shoulders come past the fingertips, and then maybe flip over onto the tops of the feet here, lift the chest. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, gaze over left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, gaze over right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Press through, hands and knees to child's pose. Three breaths here, connect. On an inhale, press up to your tabletop and walk the hands slightly forward. We're going to circle the hips here, releasing any tension. And let's go the other way. And then return to your neutral tabletop 
align, we're gonna range, tuck the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Sway the hips, pedal the feet. Soften your forehead, your jaw. Relax the neck and shoulders. And in this down dog, you can sway the hips and pedal the feet out. I'm starting to warm up the ankles, the feet, but notice your feet as you ground your toe mound and the toes into the mat. Just notice the sensations of that, of the pressing, the lifting and the muscles engaging. Send the sitting bones up to the sky. Soften the shoulders towards the earth. Soften the heels. From here, we're gonna come high on the toes, put a bend in the knee and drop the heels over to the right. One to left fingertips, stretch the side body free. Inhale, return to center. Bend in the knees, high on the toes, send the heels over to the left. Come on to right fingertips. Sticking the booty out. Lengthening the right side of the body. Inhale, back to center. Send the sitting bones up and back. Press your chest towards your thighs. Inhale, we're gonna roll forward and keep rolling. So take your time doing this and then rolling onto the tippy tippy toes, bringing the shoulders forward of your fingers and dropping the hips. So you can stay on your toes or you can roll over the toes here. But we're going to hang out in this upward facing dog. Soften your hips a little. So we want that tailbone tucked, but not too deeply pressing the hips forward. Lift the sternum. Drop the knees, press the hips back. Two more breaths here. Inhale, roll forward, tabletop, tuck toes, lift knees, down dog, breathe here. Send the sitting bones up, soften the shoulders towards the earth, soften the heels. Inhale, roll forward, rounded shoulders, bringing them past the fingertips and dropping the hips, upward facing dog. Lift the sternum, exhale, press the hips back. So what I'd like to, you to get a sense of here is as you roll forward and fortify your core, so active legs, active glutes, and the low ribs reaching towards the hip points. Lift the sternum up and out of that. Exhale, press it back. High on the toes once again, maybe reorienting yourself if you've come out of hips with distance apart, and then inhale, roll forward. Shoulders come over the wrists, past the wrists, past the fingers. And soften the hips, dip the hips. Lift the sternum, lift the gaze, exhale, press back, downward facing dog, pedal the feet, sway the hips. On an inhale, lift the right leg up and back behind you, lengthen. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest and step it next to your right thumb. Bend the left knee, settling it down to the earth. Come to the right thigh, take the left arm up and bring the right arm to join it. Soften the hips towards the floor, but activate the thighs, scissoring them together, lift the pelvic floor. Let's take our right fingertips to the back of the left thigh, left arm up and over. And again, as you press your feet, your legs into the mat, lift up out of that. So we're softer here and we're very firm in our foundation. Gaze to the fingers or down to the floor. Breathe. Inhale, 
Inhale deeply here. Exhale, plant the left hand. Tuck the left toes, open the right arm up. Runner's lunge with a twist. Inhale here, exhale, circle the arm back, down, forward, and up. Two times. Inhale, go the other way. Inhale and open here. And then we're gonna take the hands to the inside of the right foot. Turn the left toes up. Skandasana. So, taking hands in prayer here and softening the hips towards the earth, trying to keep the chest open. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky, tailbone reaches towards your heel, your right heel. Land the right hand, open the left arm up. Once again, noticing your firm foundation, press that right palm, right foot into the floor, lift the left the arm up and out of that. Feel the activation. Exhale, plant the hand. From here, we're gonna walk over to the left, lift the right toes. Hands in prayer first, open, cross the collarbones. Both shoulder blades coming together on the back. Flex the right toes. So you can move that foot closer or further away as serves you. Keep the chest opening. Crown of the head reaches up. Tailbone reaching towards your heel. Breathe. And then notice in your left foot, place your left palm next to it and really engage it with the floor. Lift the right arm up and away. Feeling yourself stretch and open. And feeling how you can lift up out of that strong, strong foundation of left palm, left foot. Reach away. Right toes and knee point towards the sky. Let's plant the hand, walk it over. Returning to our runner's lunge with a twist. Open it up. Let's take heel toe, right foot. See if you can take it over to the left or you can support yourself with the left knee. You're going to take Vasisthasana variation, side plank. Lift the hips, reach them forward. Reach the right arm up, open. And you're noticing how that tension between the left palm, left foot, pressing into the mat, lift the right arm up and out. And maybe over the ear line, reach it forward. You can stagger the feet for support. Inhale. Exhale, reach. And plant the hand. Plant the knees. Let's go ahead and dip the chest down. Scoop it forward, cobra. Press it back, child's pose. Breathe here. Connect to the breath. Five breaths. and inhale, press up to your tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Sway the hips. Send the sitting bones up. Soften the shoulders. Low belly draws up and in. Inhale, left leg lifts up and back. Lengthen, exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Round the spine, step it through. Set the right knee down, come to the left thigh, and finding your balance, scissoring the thighs together. Left foot is drawing towards you. Scissors the oh. left foot is drawing towards you. And right toes tucked for balance, and you're kind of pressing that right knee forward, lift the chest up out of that, keep the arms up. So again, noticing your foundation. Active, active core, active glutes. Reach the left fingertips to the back of the right thigh, right arm up and over with the chest. So as you find yourself pressing into the floor, lift up and away. Breathe. Soften the upper body. Inhale. 
exhale, plant the right palm, lift the right knee, left arm up, extend, reach away, inhale, exhale, circle it around, inhale, exhale, inhale, open, go the other way, inhale, open and hold, and then plant the left palm to the inside of the left foot. Come to the right heel, drop the hips. Skandasana on the left side. Take your hands in prayer. Open, open the chest. Find your balance here. And again, scissoring the thighs, pressing the feet into the earth. And then you can plant the left palm, open the right arm up, lifting up and away from that. Left palm, left foot. More breaths, soften your hips, flex the toes. And plant the hand, walk the hand, bending into the right knee, over to the right, soften the hips, take hands in prayer, open the chest. Reaching the tailbone towards your heel, flex the left toes. Now plant the left palm next to the left foot, open the left, oh sorry, plant your right palm next to the right foot, Lift the left arm up and away. Right in, so really feeling your foot pressing and your palm pressing, and then lift up away and out of that. Exhale, plant the hand. Walk back to frame the foot. From here, we'll plant both palms. Step the left foot back to meet the right for Bashistasana. Side plank. If you need to take the right knee underneath you. Go ahead and do so. Otherwise, you can stagger the feet or stack them. Press the hips forward, lift. Really feeling every finger pad and knuckle grounding into the earth. Maybe take the left arm up and over, raise up. Lengthen, soften the upper body. So soften this left arm and allow it to bend body to bow, inhale, exhale, plant the hand, draw up the knees, chest, chin, scoop through to cobra, press it back, child's pose, three breaths here, connect the breath, on an inhale, press up to your tabletop, tuck the toes, Lift the knees, downward facing dog, breathe here. And the feet out, sway the hips. And bringing the toes slightly closer together, the heels slightly further apart so that they're hiding behind your ankles. Press into the toe mound, push the feet away from each other. Press the palms towards each other, index finger and thumb as if you're rotating the palms like two dials. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Step it through. Reach the chest forward. Exhale, bend over right leg. Flex toes towards you. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, back. Send that right hip back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach the chest forward and plant the left foot. Coming up to your warrior one, bending into the right knee, reaching the hips forward. Drawing the shoulder blades together on the back. Long deep breaths here. Inhale, lift the sternum. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Really feeling that tension between the feet moving in opposite directions to ground you. And from here, hands in prayer, left toes, step up, warrior three. So we're playing with balance here. You might stumble. Draw the belly in, activate that left leg. Just press through the heel. Gazing down. 
finding a drishti, something that's not moving, just to hold your focus. Inhale, inflate the mid back so you're not sinking. Long line of energy from the left heel, crown of head. Micro bend in right knee. Inhale here. Exhale, step the left foot back. Frame the foot, go through a flow. Meet in downward facing dog this time. See you there. Elbowing the feet out, sway the hips. Lengthen the crown of the head forward towards your fingertips. Inhale, left leg lifts. Lengthen, exhale, draw the knee in. Stepping it next to the left thumb. Reach the chest forward. Lengthen, stretching the right hip. Exhale, bow over that left leg. Toes flex towards you. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, bend. Exhale, bow. Inhale, bend, push the chest forward. And now, inhale, plant the feet. Warrior one, bending into the left knee. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift. Really pulling the feet away from each other. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now, hands in prayer. Stepping the right toes a little closer. Stepping into the left foot. Warrior three. Lift the right heel behind you. Micro bend the left knee. Drop the right toes. Inflate the back. Maybe take the arms out. If you need help with balance, or just at heart center. And step the toes back. Frame the foot. Step it back. Go through your flow. Be in child's pose this time. Press the hips back, take the hands back towards your heels. Soften here, release tension. <clears throat> so you can roll the forehead on the earth here. And start to imagine letting go. Letting go of the need to use effort. Letting go of anything that no longer serves you. If you'd like to make a pillow with your hands and rest one cheek, you can do that. So tune in to softening. Get an earthy sense here and imagine just melting through your mat. If you're resting one side of the forehead, come to the other, look to the right. Inhale, return to center. We're gonna walk the palms under the shoulders, knees, under hips. But then from here, take cow pose, drop the belly, curl the tailbone up, and start to walk the hands forward, melting the heart towards the earth. You can rest the chin on the forehead. You can keep the palms in front of you, or you can take them together, bending the elbows, bringing them to the back of the skull, getting an extra opening in those shoulders. And then anything that feels good here, I like to Gently sway the hips a little side to side. Just feeling the stretch in different places through the back body. And inhale, plant your hands, roll back up to a tabletop, and we'll take a moment in this tabletop to align and arrange. And find your right toes, swivel up, lift them, swiveling on the knee, bringing the right toes behind you. 
come into the left foot. Bring that right knee right underneath your right hip, left arm up and over. Inhale, exhale, left arm up and over the ear line. Press the hips forward, lengthen both sides of the body. Inhale, lift the left arm, lift the left leg. Exhale. Breathing. On an inhale, see if you can bend the left knee and take it. Take the foot with the hand, open the shoulder, stretch the quad. Breathe. Inhale to release and re-extend mindfully. And then return to your tabletop. Take one deep breath here. Exhale completely. Inhale, swiveling on the left knee, bringing that left foot behind you, coming to the right foot, making any adjustments that will maybe create a solid foundation here with knee right under hip, right arm comes up. Inhale, up and over. Lengthen. Pressing into the right foot, reaching away. Inhale here. Reach the right arm up. Exhale, lift the right leg. Bend the knee, see if you can find the foot. Stretch your quad, open your shoulder. Pulling on the foot, pressing the foot into the hand. Relax the neck. Inhale to mindfully release. Plant the hand, plant the knees, press the hips to the heels, rest here, breathe. On an inhale, press up to your tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog, breathe here. On an inhale, ground to the left foot, lifting the right, up and back. Exhale, bend the knee, open and stack the right hip over left. Press your right shoulder even with the left. Soften the left heel towards the floor. Pull the belly in. Breathe. You lift it open a little more. Inhale, straighten and square the leg. Exhale, draw the knee in and step it through. Maybe crawl it forward. Help yourself into lizard pose. Right and left hand to the inside of the right foot. Reach the chest forward. Breathe here. I'm going to open the right arm up. And maybe if you, it's available to you, clasping the left foot with the right hand, open the shoulder. Relax the neck, gentle movement, it feels good. Inhale, open, exhale, bring the hand back to the inside of that right foot. And maybe reach the chest down towards the earth, bring your forearms to the floor, if not, Find support with blocks, blanket or pillow. Reach the crown of the head forward, reach the left toes back. Pull right foot, pressing into the mat. Knee is right over the ankle. We're gonna lift the sole of the right foot, flexing it, and turning the toes out, bringing out the knee. Getting a different stretch on the outside. You need to see how I have my foot aligned and then bring the chest back down to the earth. Here, let's climb up onto the hands and frame the foot, heel toe the right foot over to the left, flexing it, 
Send the left toes back behind you and then arrange your stretch. So choosing the distance from your right heel to your left hip. And actively pressing that left leg into the floor, lift up out of that. Exhale, finding your stretch belly over that right calf. Any amount, breathe. complete with that, coming back up to the palms, and then gaze over your left shoulder, see if you can find your left foot with the left hand, and then drawing it into the crease of your elbow, if you're able. Otherwise, just holding with the foot is fine. If you'd like to add the right arm in your bind, but reach the chest forward, keep the hips leveling, Four, three, lift your gaze with the sternum. Gently find your way out of that, releasing any tension in the foot. And then plant the hands, lift the left knee, tucking the toes, step it back. Go through a flow, meet in child's pose. Once again, three breaths, connect to the breath. On an inhale, press up to your tabletop. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Breathing your down dog. Pressing the right foot into the floor. Firmly lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, draw the knee in. And gently step it through. Soften the right knee to the floor. Turn your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Walk the right toes as far back as you can sending them behind you, and then finding your stretch. So left knee, right over ankle. And if you need to stay up here, that's fine too. Wait until your body gives you the invitation to go deeper. Use the breath, connect to the breath. And on an inhale, either return to the hand or with your forearm, extend the left arm back, bend the right knee. See if you can find your bind. Hold in the shoulder, stretch the quad. Keep the low belly pulling in, support your low back. Keep that left shoulder opening, and I know the sink in the right. Active foot. Exhale, gently release. Bring the left arm back to the inside of that left foot and then lift the sole of the foot. Flex the toes and wing out the knee for your winged lizard pose. Feeling the stretch in a slightly different spot. Breathe here.
returning to our theme of surrender here is a great place to find things to let go of, particularly if you are having a difficult time with the stretch. You could put that in too, one more breath. So releasing, sometimes I'll take my palms face up just to remind myself that I'm trying to stop needing to affect things. From here, we're going to return onto our palms so that we can heel toe that left foot all the way to the right. Flex the foot, find your stretch. So, determining the distance of left heel to right hip. Extend the right toes behind you. Breathe. Pressing the hips into the floor, lift the chest, and then bowing over that left calf any amount. If you need support from blocks or pillows, find that. And then returning to noticing your breath. So simply watching the breath as it, as it goes in. And watching it as it goes out. Not needing to affect it in any way. Simply watching. And breathing through any thoughts that disrupt you. Using your imagination to enhance this in any way that appeals to you. And then on an inhale, plant the palms. And we're going to see if we can do the stretch on this side. I'm a little tighter on my left hip. So I struggle. So finding your right foot with the right hand and maybe just holding here, supporting yourself with your left hand, staying upright. Maybe you can find the crease of the elbow. Keep the chest reaching forward. Lift the gaze. And gently finding your way out of that sometimes more successfully than others. Plant the hands, step the left, right foot, toes down. Step the right toes down, step the feet back, lower down, chaturanga. Press back through hands and knees to child's pose. Breathe here. From here in our child pose, we're going to return to tabletop, but walk the knees back and find our way down onto our mat. We're going to reach both palms forward, reach the toes back as far as you can. Maybe use the forehead to the floor, just for a moment. Take a deep breath in, and on your exhale, press the left palm into the mat with the right palm. Inhale here. Exhale, press the right foot into the floor, lift your left leg. Reach the toes back, reach the fingertips forward. Long deep breaths here. Take a, smooth, take a soothing full body stretch and then you sit down. Inhale, walk the hands forward once again, drop the forehead. Pressing extra firmly into your right palm with the left palm. And take a deep breath in. And pressing into your left foot, lift your right. Easy gaze forward or straight down. But as you press the right palm, lift the left. As you press the left foot, lift the right. And then release. Take a pillow with your hand, just one cheek. Deep breath in, exhale. Inhale, rest the other cheek. From here, we're gonna roll our hips side to side, releasing any tension, and walk the toes back as far as we can. 
finding your right foot and then your left. Reaching the heels towards the glutes and drawing the knees towards each other. Press your hips into the floor. Allow the shoulder blades to start to roll together and lift the chest and press the hands into the feet. Feet into the hands, lift the toes towards the sky. And inhale, lift the chest a little more. And exhale, release. Press back through hands and knees to find a seat. And then climb down onto your back. Draw the knees into the chest. Rock side to side. Just take the feet together, knees apart. And find happy baby. Pressing the sacrum into the floor, drawing the knees towards your armpits, towards the floor. Feet are flexed as if you were gonna stamp your foot on the ceiling. Breathe. Feel those opposite energies of pulling feet and pushing away with the feet. You can look side to side. Anything that feels good here. You can straighten and bend the knees if you like. And then bring the knees back into center, give them a squeeze. We're going to take that right arm out to the right, gently guide the knees over to the left, and then plant your left hand on the outside to ground the knees. Take your gaze to the right thumb. Long deep breaths. Releasing, surrendering. Bring your gaze to your jaw and then your forehead. Relax your shoulders and your neck. If you'd like a deeper stretch on the outside of the right leg, you can ground your right toes. If you're feeling really flexible, you could also grab that left foot or cat. Chasing its tail pose, I'm going to decline on the other foot. Let's stretch my right leg, gaze to the right once again. Gently bend the right knee, return the knees to center, give them a squeeze, maybe bring the nose to the knees once again. And then taking the both knees in the right arm, tilting them over to the right, extend the left arm out to the left, gaze to the left. Soften your shoulders, your hips, relax your feet, your hands, your legs, your arms. Turn to center, give the knees a squeeze. We're going to, we're going to take a restorative pose before Shavasana. So find your way to a wall if you have one. If you don't have a wall, you can use a chair and simply rest the calves on the chair seat. If you have a little 
Otherwise, we're going to do legs up the wall. So if you have a blanket, you can arrange it close to your wall. The way I like to come into this is to sit side saddle to the wall. Bring the feet up. And then you can make any adjustments you need to make. And you can also have the option of taking the feet together for a hip opener, which is what I'm going to do here. So either here or here or simply lay down for a shavasana if you prefer. <coughs> I've got my arms overhead to continue this surrender theme. So see what you can let go of here. And simply Scanning through the body, noticing places of tension, and releasing. Notice if some pesky thoughts have crept back in. See if you can breathe space between the thoughts. You can also turn them into a bird and watch them flutter away. And other variations on that theme. Scanning through the body, noticing places of tension, see if you can soften a little more. I like to visualize a drop of water and imagine the drop of water that has so much tension in the beginning as it holds on to its shape. And as it starts to soften onto the surface, it will lose that tension and broaden and broaden and sink more and more until it finally releases becomes one with the surface. And if you're ready to come with me to Shavasana, you can bend the knees and roll over to one side. And so you fall down onto your mat, extend the legs out wide, push the legs underneath you, extend the arms out in any way that appeals to you. Maybe lift your hand to lengthen the back of the neck before replacing the skull onto the mat. And then simply let go. the body once more, noticing anywhere you're holding tension you don't need to be, use your conscious awareness to release it.
we can do fingers and toes. Maybe take a big stretch overhead. And then reach the toes and the hands over to the left. Back to center, draw the knees in, and roll up to one side. And taking a few breaths, grounding. For choosing to come return to your seats. In the best way for you. Find yourself in your seat. Take a few moments noticing any of the changes you've affected on your mind, body, or breath. There may be a pleasant sensation that you'd like to imprint to carry with you through your day. You may do that now. And revisiting any intention you set for today's practice. And then revisiting our theme of the class, surrender. Maybe take hands face up on your knees in a gesture of receiving. 